Hello and welcome to a new video. Now uh, I'm gonna need a virtual machine since I've been using uh, different softwares and all that on my local machine. I don't want to mess up with the other things or personal project that I'm working on. So I thought, how about I set up Hyper-V on my Windows 10? So in order to have Hyper-V, you need Hyper-V. Sorry, you need to have a Windows 10, uh, not Home Edition any other edition but home you need to have uh, 64 uh, bits uh, edition and uh, also you need to meet the hardware uh, specific requirements so without further ado uh, let me just uh, move my ass out of the way so i can make myself in the little corner and then we start we just go to hyper-v of course i'm not i don't have activated hyper-v so um you need to go to uh, Windows features, as you can see over here. If you start uh, opening Windows and type Hyper-V, then you will see uh, what you need to do. And also you will see here, it mentions Hyper-V. Yeah, you just enable it. And as you can see over here, and it says Hyper-V cannot be installed. Virtualization support is disabled in this firmware. Uh, cannot be installed. Okay. And as uh, all things, of course, you have to enter a few hiccups. So if you Google this error, it says Hyper-V cannot be installed. Virtualization is disabled in this firmware. If you Google this error, you will see that this is an error from the BIOS. So you need to go to your BIOS, advanced BIOS features. Then you need to go to uh, CPU feature. Then you need to go to virtualization technology, which is disabled should be disabled and you just change it to enable and uh, that's it so i will uh, do that right now and i will get back to you and of course uh, my uh, motherboard was not uh, as described i have an uh, amd uh, processor with an asus uh, motherboard so for that you need to go into bios which is f2 or dell key depending on what uh, motherboard you have and then you go to advanced and sorry then you go to advanced which is over here and then you go to um, cpu configuration in my case I don't, I don't really have cpu configuration advanced it goes straight to uh, this one and you have here svm mode and it should be disabled and you just enable it and then you click uh, exit and uh, save and uh, reset this is the general thing you should do and then if we go now back to uh, windows and uh, type uh, windows hyper v then we will um let me just move it on the screen then you have here hyper v you see now it's not disabled and you can actually put the hyper v enabled everything should be selected because you're gonna need it to start your own uh, virtual machine and then let's just uh, start installing so right now he's doing all the necessary things so it can install everything needs for the uh, for your virtual machine yeah and uh, you should be ready to go in a few minutes i would say of course it needs a new restart so uh see you in a minute and now we're back i have a program open hardware monitor if you can if you want to use this one it will show everything you have on your uh, machine so as i was saying um my motherboard is uh, asus prime b550 plus i'm running the amd ryzen 7 3700x which it's uh, eight cores 16 threads yeah uh memory ram memory i'm using 16 uh, gigabytes of uh, ram let me see and now i cannot get any further info from here i'm using 16 gigs of ram um maybe task manager will show me yeah i'm using uh, 16 gigs of ram which of course is a uh, dual channel and uh, 3200 uh, megahertz and uh, as i mentioned the video card is uh, md radeon rx 5700 xt with 8 gigs of uh, memory 
Besides this, I'm rocking uh, two uh, hard drives. You can see them over here. I have one uh, two terabytes. This is a Seagate, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm running my main uh, system on a Samsung SSD 970 EVO Plus with uh, 250 gigabytes of space. So without further ado, now let's start the Hyper-V. Yeah, if I could just, okay, I can write it here, Hyper-V Manager, you will see. And it opened on me on my other screen. And of course, you can see here we have the desktop, which is, it right here. You have no virtual machines and you can uh, quick create from here. Of course, uh, I'm going to need a uh, Windows 10 because I want to use this machine mostly for, I don't know, Jenkins, uh, IntelliJ and start and play with some things there and uh, do some tutorials for you guys like uh, installing uh, in Jenkins on Windows 10 from scratch and so on. So uh, I decided instead of using my own machine, I will just use Hyper-V and one of the virtual machines. So. As you can see, first thing first, you need to select an operating system. You have here, here, sorry, Ubuntu 18, 19, 20 and uh, Windows 10. And uh, I will select the Windows 10 dev environment. You can see here more options, network. Uh, you need to select a name for your Windows 10, which I will make the um, test VM machine. Yeah. Okay. What I forgot to mention that uh, you need to make sure that you have on my PC, I have enough uh, disk space. Yeah, I have 100 gigabytes of uh, memory free. So uh, I've selected the Windows 10 dev environment, as I mentioned, I've given it a name, uh, default switch for the network, and that's it. Let's create the virtual machine. Of course, uh, here you just need to wait. So we're going to wait for it to download the image and everything it needs. And it's going to start in a few seconds. Seconds? Um, of of course, I'm going to play back this really fast. You don't have to wait for all this. So, um, see you in a few seconds. When I'm up through the night, I can't turn down the noise. Say all the words out of my mind about who I'm supposed to be. I start to believe I can't get it right. Remember the days I let slip away They were simpler times Mama told me before you leave If there's only one thing you remember from me And we're done! Uh, as you can already see on the screen, it already finished everything. So, uh, let's see what kind of settings can we edit here okay we have the hard drive the memory it's set up to start with uh, two gigabytes of ram uh, also a processor yeah well it 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 uses all my processor because yeah i'm not gonna need all these but uh, let's just uh, see how this works so we click uh, connect and then we go we get here a pop-up which says the virtual machine Test VM machine is turned off. To start, click start from the action menu or click start from here because you already have a start here button. And you can already see it says here uh, what resolution do I want? I think I'm going to go with something smaller. Yeah, connect. It's currently... Okay, I'm going to need to set up the uh, resolution later connecting to test machine and as you can see it has started I can sign in yes I want it to be discoverable and it already mentions that Windows license is expired because this is a 
trial uh, version and of course uh, you're gonna need to use a license if you really want one but what i really wanted to show you is how easy it is to set up everything um, here on the screen on the right side of the screen you can also see the let me just minimize this one the processor the performance since it's i'm already using some apps on my machine and uh, also this was it let's see if uh, google works yeah um english of course yeah and uh that's it i agree okay as you can see i, I don't want to download anything uh hyper v enable hyper v as you can see this was uh, all the setup now my virtual machine is ready and uh, looking forward for the next videos so you can start using it and uh, create your own stuff or do whatever you want without uh, breaking your actual windows so thank you for watching as always don't forget uh, drop a like or a comment down below if you want to know anything else or if you just enjoyed this video if this was helpful for you this would help me a lot so thank you see you in the next one bye